Happy Friday, my lovelies. It's so great to see you here. This is video numero dos for today because there is a very special day coming up this weekend on Sunday. It is Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day, a day to celebrate that special lady in your life, whether it's your mom, your grandma, an aunt, whoever is that special woman to you that is the day you get to celebrate them. So before we get started, <clears throat> all the mums out there, I just would like to take this moment to celebrate you myself and to say thank you so much for all that you do, especially during this time. Um, you have been asked to not only be mom and nurse and psychologist, but now we have added teacher to that very lengthy list of things that you are already doing. And I just want to say how grateful I am that you are there to support your child and what a wonderful job you are doing. You are incredible and very much appreciated. So without further ado, I am going to read a book just for you. Twas the night before Mother's Day. Twas the night before Mother's Day. Twas the night before Mother's Day when as quiet as a mouse, Dad told us his plan to get Mom out of the house. Her sneakers were set by the doorway with care in hopes that her running pals soon would be there. Then out in the yard, there arose quite a crowd. Come on, let's go, girl, her friends shouted real loud. So mom in her sweatsuit and red baseball cap plugged in her earphones and jogged off in a snap. Away to the kitchen we flew like a fa flash, as if we were running a 100-yard dash. We measured and mixed a delicious cake batter, then blended the frosting. Oops! Way too much splatter! We made fancy cars, cards, not cars, adding our I love yous and a special coupon that mom sure could use. When mom came home, she saw the mess in the sink. What I miss, she asked. Nothing, dad said with a wink. We children then nestled all snug in our beds while visions of mum danced in our heads. The next morning we presented a giant bouquet. It's for you, mum, we cried. Happy Mother's Day. Is this book sounding like another one we've read this year? Was the night before Christmas. Oh, I don't know if I did read it to you. Yes, I'm pretty sure. It's a wonderful book. She read both of our cards and after wiping her eyes said, a private spa session. What a lovely surprise. We took mom to the kitchen where our spa was set up. Dad served her black coffee in an extra large cup. We rubbed her shoulders, we massaged her feet. Mom sighed and smiled. You kids are so sweet. I wrapped a towel turban to cover her hair, then we dabbed on a mud mask. No mess anywhere. I painted her nails, what glittery fun. A top coat of polish, voila, manicure done. Dad said, the chef will be serving a divine gourmet brunch. That's a meal that comes between breakfast and lunch. <clears throat> 
So mom hurried off to go and get dressed. We took seats at the table behaving our best. When what to our wandering eyes should appear but the perfect model for mother of the year. Her eyes, how they sparkled, her brown hair, how curly, her cheeks were like roses, her skirt very twirly. We raised our juice glasses and offered a toast to the world's greatest mom, and that's not a boast. Mom thanked us for everything. It brought her such cheer. She wished it could be Mother's Day every day of the year. So happy Mother's Day to all you beautiful moms, grandmas, aunts out there. You do a superb job every day. Now my little kiddos, just for you, I have added some links and suggestions and coloring pages for things that you can do that are special for that special lady in your life. So make sure you read the description and click on those to take you to some of those special activities you can do for your moms or grandmas or aunties. That's it for now. Thank you so much for joining me again. Much love and a very happy Mother's Day.